Hey there guys, welcome to the last video on Mechanicus uh, 40k, one 40k Mechanicus for now. So we got um we, we did we did the missions that are available at the moment. Uh I, I I think I think I'll give this game a go when it comes out. I think it could be interesting. Um I'm not 100 percent sure about it, but it seems it seems pretty cool. There, there are quite a few aspects of the game I like. Um, so what we're going to do uh, is we're going to look at all the technology and weapons and stuff like that that is available. Just have a little chat about them. And then maybe build these guys up to be uh, as badass as we can make them. And just have a look at how the builds and everything work. So, <clears throat> first up, let's go over here. We've got... I guess that's weapons? Yeah, okay, so that's weapons. So you got these two melee weapons. Looks like there's a lot more melee weapons, hopefully at least, like down this way. Um, Favoured during the Great Crusade before the Terran bolt gun drove them into decline. Volkite weapons impart so much thermo thermodynamic energy to the target that those under their shimmering rays simply combust. Oh, okay. Uh, macro stubber, antique pistol. So it looks like there's a lot of uh, archaeotech weaponry here. Eradication ray, arc pistol. So that that uh, that yeah, that fires a shot. That um, fires in a straight line. Wow, four things to to get that done. Really? Okay. Um, for uh, cognition points. Uh, more portable little sister of the arc rifle, smaller barrel. Okay, so deals one to two energy damage. Uh, oh, so it's it's like it's the AOE one. You know, like you hit one of them and then it like arcs out in, in an arc. Uh, oh, a Cognis Flamer. Okay, so you can have flamers, that's nice. Uh, phosphor weaponry. Okay, so that that could be that could be a useful one because it reveals the target information, so you can kind of shoot them first with this, and then and then see what they are about. Seems like a few of the pistols do that. Favored weapon among many tech priests. If the target survives the initial trauma, then they are soon felled by the light guided volleys that follow. Okay, far shot. Real target information. Five to, I'm uh, sorry, six to eight energy damage isn't bad. Phosphor blaster shoots multiple projectiles in a cone pattern. Terrifying variant, enabling multi-target illumination. Get to utilize lightning properties of. Oh, cool. Uh, there's, then there's the arc rifle, which is again like the arc pistol. It fires in like a cone after it hit, after it hits the target. It fires in like a cone. Uh, gamma pistol ignores armor, beam of ionized radiation, directs itself from the barrel. Trusted only to the most blessed priests, for the machine spirit within is wild, able to turn targets to ash in seconds or cut through defensive structures with ease. Okay. Uh, fires in a straight line, passing through units, destroys physical and energetic armor. Deals a lot of damage as well. Normally found on Catafron battle servitors, this version of Plasma Corvrin's template were discovered in the tombs of Silver Tenebris. Oh, so they've actually found this in the. Uh... And look at that! Look, it, it, it like pops it on there. But well, that that's what I, I guess that one they hold. But most of these are like. Okay, I see how that works. Uh, I need to see all the... Okay, well, we can see enough. Normally found in Catharon Battle Servitors, version of Torsion Cadet. Found... Okay, so these ones seem to have been found. Interestingly enough. Uh, more portable, more portable. this template allows priests to use this blessed weapon without the need of Battle Servitor. Fire a shot through the target and deals area damage. Shot pass through units and walls. That could be useful. Interesting. And then Solar Atomizer. First mastercrafted by Archmagos Dominus 
uh, Belisarius Cool, this highly advanced bolt attack fires a searing hot beam of energy straight through the toughest foes. Fires in a straight line, passes through units and walls, deals a lot of damage. Okay, so... Wait, we haven't looked at everything. There's more stuff. Uh, so we've got the Omnis Specs. Uh, chance to miss you, that's probably going to be very useful. Um, become the priority target. Could be useful in conjunction with the Spotlight. Uh, Creatio Claw is just a heal. Uh, scanner. It, it, extracting cognition points is pretty useful, especially if you're using the higher tech guns. Uh, this is, uh, what is this? Sanctus Canata text from Stygia's 8. The origins of this device are unknown, but with infield test improvements are so impressive, most priests are looking the other way. Increase the strength and agility. Okay, so this must be like a... Can we turn this guy around to see where it goes? No, okay. Uh, I guess this is like a, like a stim or something, like a battle drug, maybe? Refractor Field Generator. Considered essential by many letter tech priests, Refractor Field distorts the image of the wearer with a shimmering cloak of energy. Incoming attacks strike the field will be refracted into multi-spectral bursts that dissipate into harmlessness. Oh, nice! Uh, then we've got the different... You've got the Servitors, the Skitari, Rangers, Vanguard Alpha, Ranger Alpha... Catafron. So it seems to be a few more. Um, and then you got the increased cognition size, but don't know what else is going to be in there. And then we've got a couple of canticles, which we saw before. Okay. So, let's have a look at these guys and what they do. So, the sec... I renamed Mrs. FCMA for this video. Uh, the Secutor uh, increases troop stuff, troop gain damage, troop reinforcement... Okay, so this uh, this guy seems to be a bit of a buffer in that sense. Uh, so maybe if we gave him like... Oh, that goes there. Okay. So we, if we gave him like two Cognition Mechadendrites... I, th I think you have to collect them from the enemy. Um... It, it, it's interesting that that these things... So you can see you've got 3 out of 8 augment capacity. And here's the thing is, these don't do anything yet, as far as we can tell. So like I could put this on, and it makes them look different, but it doesn't seem to do anything. So we'll leave them as is, and we'll just kind of equip them for now with what we feel they need. Now... That arc pistol. We want this guy, I think, to just have ju to just have guns like the phosphor blast pistol, like anything that doesn't cost. So like the gamma pistol as well, probably. We could give him a, a, a axe as well. Two to four. I, I don't see why you wouldn't use the Power Axe, because the Power Axe is just better. So if we give him these, and then... Scanner... And... I'm assuming they can target themselves... Oh, okay, we can't use that in there. And we, we can't take out the uh, the servo skull. Okay. Uh, so that... That kind of... Um, this guy would be a bit of a cognition uh, collector. With some basic uh, pistol short range firing and then the power axe to, uh, to hone it in. Um, I don't think there's anything else we can really add in here and I, I I quite like that like I think it uh, I think that works well for this guy because this guy like you could put some heavy fire firepower on him but he's kind of he, he seems to be hey let's get some more troops in guy basically so that's our secutor 
Next up is our Tech Auxilium. He is uh, increased damage. Uh, tech Priest gain damage. Increased damage. Sanctus Canister. Okay, so he can have a Sanctus Canister, which will increase his stuff, and this uh, this uh, increases the cooldown of it as well. May as well give him a Power Axe, and then... What do we... Maybe a Refractor... Sh sh oh, sweet, we can put that in there. Okay. So maybe a Refractor Field in there, and then as his weapons... Uh, what do we want to give him? Far shot. Where's the arc pistol? There it is. So maybe an arc pistol for that AoE. And then... I don't really want to use anything too... Too strong, I don't think. Oh, we could we could maybe make this guy a bit of an AoE, -er, I guess, and give him a Cognis Flamer as well. And then he's got the uh, he's got the Fracture Field, so he could he could get in there with others, use his Arc Pistol and his Cognis Flamer to kind of uh, uh, to kind of to kind of keep people um, uh, to to do the AoEs, and then he's got the uh, Fracture Field. And Sanctus Canister will increase the damage of his AoEs, which is quite good. How much does it increase? Plus two damage, yeah. So that's, that's, I, I, I like that, I think. And the burn is, is probably quite good too. Okay, so that's the Tech Auxilium. The Lex Mechanic. Uh, plus Cognition Point on kill. Collect all remaining Cognition Point. Uh, weapons cost one Cognition Point less to use. Generate one cognition. So this guy seems to be a cognition point earner uh, as well. But that doesn't mean. Let's give him an Omni Specs. Uh, and. Let's get that to gather more cognition points. Now, what I think we want. Multiple projections, projectiles in a cone pattern, uh, does a decent amount of energy. I think we give him this Phosphor Blaster, because it can maximize the number of targets he can kill, which will maximize the amount of cognitions. So, like, if we can kill three targets in a, in a shot, then we'll regain all of the... Yeah, so I think that's a good idea. And then maybe something... Uh, a bit more powerful. Give him power axe, obviously. Uh, we need something on these. Let's take the. Uh, let's take an infestus like a dendrite and a. We don't have much for the sides here, do we? Okay. We'll take a Cognition Mechadendrite for the Why Uh So, five and a two. Ah, that's the Arc Rifle. We want something a bit less... Cognis Flamer? Maybe the Phosphor Serpentina, I think. I like how that just has a hand there. Ah. Uh, wait, does this one just have a... No, oh, not really. That's, like, attached on. Okay, so yeah, I think that will be, um, pro more likely we'll be using the Phosphor Blaster, um, to try and get those multi-kills, but this, this could be a nice way to get, like, to get, to get a kill, but also, uh, get one, get, you know, get, a, get one point back. So we'll be losing a point, but still, not bad. Uh, and then the Explorator is our melee. So we'll give him the Power Axe, and the the Infestus Mechadendrites don't seem super useful. Definitely give him an Omni Specs. I think probably give him a ref Refractor Field as well. Uh, then we'll give him a Phosphor Blast Pistol and a Macro Stunner. C 
because we don't want him using cognition points, he's gonna be he's gonna be hitting people. Maybe we give him the sanct yeah, I think we give him the Sanctus canister. Got that. I think we give him the Sanctus canister instead of the refract field. Um, because we're gonna be trying to make people miss instead, and also that gives plus damage, plus movement, and plus critical. And then uh I guess for the for the Mechadendrites, we just give him two Infestus. I don't think the Infestus are super useful, but we've got a choice of two, as far as I can see. And it's worth having a few Infestus Mechadendrites going around. Aggressively wield Mechadendrite, lashing out at any target within range, searching for anything that doesn't contain a human signature. Modifications were made to compensate for the flayed ones, twisted love of covering themselves in the flesh of the fallen. Ah, okay. Um, so yeah, the explorer tour. We we want him. Uh, we want him moving quicker and and damaging more. And with, with the power axe, like the the other uh, melee weapon, as we've said, before melee attack, give opportunity of attack, two to four damage thing is, is the Power Axe does exactly the same thing, except for it destroys physical and energetic armor, which is just more useful. So. And then the Engine Seer is our healer, I believe. So he's got a canticle. So, so, sounds like a, sounds like a, a hangnail or something. So he's got a canticle uh, to heal. Uh, Curatio Claw has one. So where are the Curatio Claws? There they are. So he definitely attached the Curatio Claws. And two of them. Uh, Tech Priest gains physical. Restore one health point at the end of the turn. So he can heal himself a little bit. Then what we probably want to do is. I guess we'll get the Cognition Point. Mechadendrites. Oh, no, actually, that's... Yeah. We'll take one Infestus as well to keep people away from us. There's no reason not to give them all power axes, to be honest. It just makes sense. Uh, and then this guy... I think we'll give him... Uh, a Phosphor Serpentina. Uh, come on, GP. Quite ready. Oh! What, what's taken up? Is it... Okay, so these take up two. Alright, well then let's take out the that one. Uh, we'll give him back this. That only takes up one, but I guess... We could give him that. If we're going to try and keep people away from him, and then give him like a macro stuffer as well. So he's got some range damage along with his... Uh, his healy healy healies. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, that's the engine seer. Less to do on him, actually, it turns out. Uh, because these cost more. And then I think the final guy, the Dominus, is the one who it costs less cognition points to use these things. So, uh, Machine Spirit only does critical hits. One damage to a Necron. Wait, where's the... We don't have these last ones here. First attack in the turn doesn't activate cooldown and can be used another time. Uh, so where is the... Ah, okay, so Lex Mechanic. Where's it? There's our Lex Mechanic. So actually, what we should probably do with this guy is go for um, a Torsion Cannon. And well, the arc pistol would cost zero with this guy. Yeah, so this guy uh, with the cognition points, um, he uh, he also can fire things with. Is it one less? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it yeah, it doesn't show. Up. Oh no, there it is. So weapons cost one less cognition point to use. So. Uh, why are there two torsion cannons? Okay, th that's fine. So, what do we want to use here? Maybe the Phosphor Blaster? 
yeah, we'll take the Phosphor Blaster as well. Because I, I think we had that before, but we'll just take a stronger weapon there. Um, the uh, Torsion Cannon. It can fire through units and walls, which is going to be... Like, firing through walls is super useful, but it's very expensive, so... For it to cost four instead, I think, is, uh, is a good shout. Let's finish with the Dominus, who... Machine Spirit uh, does only critical hits, uh, deals one damage to a Necron with Servo Skulls. Uh, Machine Spirit attacks deal plus two damage and plus four range for plus four range for ranged weapons. Now, uh, what I think we want to do is we want short range items. I th okay, check it out, check it out. If we take the arc pistol, right, because it does like an arc of damage, we can use this uh, and the crit to hit multiple things at once. And then we take something, uh, we, we'll take the gamma pistol, which ignores armor. And it means basically it's gonna be very cheap to fire both of these weapons every turn. Uh, so we can keep firing them and it will keep, uh, Uh, yeah, we can we can keep firing the weapons, and um, it'll get to the to the machine spirit part, and then obviously when we when we machine spirit it, it'll it'll um, we'll get these just because it means we can uh, get cognition points if we need, and then the scanner. I'm gonna go with the scanner. Um, so we just need a melee weapon, which is going to be the power axe, because there's no reason not to have, for everyone, basically, to have a power axe, uh, is the way this, this pans out. And yeah, there we go, there's, there's our guys, and there's all of the, the items and, and the setup, I think. Um, we've had a look at the tech. Uh, we can't do any more missions, unfortunately. There's a, there was only a couple available to us. I think um, if if you guys are just watching this video, um, then maybe consider checking out. I'll in at the end at the, at the outro of this video, I'll leave a link to the to the playlist for Mechanicus, and you can you know peruse through the videos there. There's uh, three other videos. Um, basically, starts with me looking at the tutorial and figuring out the game, and then I do a couple of missions in the next videos. We, we check out the game. It's it's it's, it's interesting. Um, I think I'll probably uh, give this a go when it's released. I can't say for sure because um, of my schedule and the fact that I've changed up how I'm doing videos. I'm doing a lot more edited stuff and, and slightly different... Uh, the theme of things, I guess. So, yeah, that that's uh, that's something. But uh, it, it seems interesting, and it's 40k. So, uh, you know, what I'll probably do is I'll I'll give it a shot at at doing a playthrough of this game. Maybe I may play it on on Twitch instead. Uh, you know, in a kind of long form, and then just release the recording as a bulk. We'll see. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.